Hi everyone! So today I want to talk about some poetry collections that I would recommend to someone who wants to get into poetry, contemporary poetry to be exact. If you're someone who has only read poetry in school and thinks that it's intimidating or difficult or inaccessible, then these collections are for you because they are the opposite of those things. On the other hand, if you're a really big fan of traditional poetry, then these collections may not be for you. That's not to say that they aren't good or that you won't enjoy them if you enjoy traditional poetry. It's just that quite often contemporary poetry and traditional poetry are drastically different, which makes sense really because language changes over time. The things that people talk about in literature change over time. But if this video interests you, I still think these collections are worth checking out. I personally think that the collections I'm about to talk about are quite easy to get through. The writing is relatively straightforward. These artists have quite distinctive voices and the things that they talk about are relatable or really relevant to what's going on in the world that we live in today. You can watch most of these artists perform some of their work on YouTube, so I'm going to link my favorite videos down below, and all the poems from the videos that I'm going to link down below can be found in the collections that I'm going to talk about in this video. So first up I have Our Number of Days by Neil Hilborn. This was published by Button Poetry in 2015. His most popular and famous poem is called OCD, and it is also included in this collection. So I would say the main two things that he talks about in this collection are mental illness and loss, whether it be in the form of heartbreak or other things. I'm going to read the description on the back because I think it encapsulates the essence of this book perfectly. Neil Hilborn's debut collection, Our Numbered Days, is funny and mad at itself for being funny. It's sad and it thinks it's also funny. It's smart even when it's calling itself stupid. It says, love me, while insisting that loving it is a bad idea. Our Numbered Days is like playing mini golf on a first date. It will be embarrassing at first, but it swears you're gonna love it. It's honest, it's relatable, and it doesn't try to be something that it's not, which is the beauty of it. I actually got the opportunity to meet Neil last year at a poetry event. His performance was amazing and he is such a sweet person. I actually got him to sign my copy. It says, Shamina, I promise you it will be worth it. All the poets that I've met, they write the sweetest personalized messages when they sign your books. It's amazing. Next up, I have Black Movie by Danis Smith. This was published in 2015 by Button Poetry and Exploding Pinecone Press. Danis is a black queer poet, so he talks about being black and being queer quite a lot. In this book, he mainly talks about race relations in the United States, and you can see that he was heavily influenced by the Black Lives Matter movement. The imagery and formats in this book are so unique. It is basically an exploration of black lives in the US told through the storylines of well-known films such as The Lion King and The Secret Garden. And it's really interesting because even though you would think that the pop culture references would lighten the tone of the book. If anything, it makes it more poignant because of the nature of the films that he uses. They are made for children and are about children, but at the same time children are dying in these poems. It is accessible, it is relevant, it is innovative, and it is really powerful. Next up I have Teaching My Mother How to Give Birth by Warson Shire. Warson Shire is a Kenyan-born Somali poet based in London, and this is her debut collection. It was published by Mouthmark, I think. Warson Shire is also known for being featured on Beyonce's Lemonade. This is a really beautiful book. The imagery is really elegant yet blunt, so she talks a lot about being a black immigrant woman, and the struggles that are unique to that. A lot of the topics in this book, such as sexual assault, are quite heavy, but she doesn't really spend a lot of time going over each topic, so in that sense it's a bit of a quick, easy read. It is also a really short collection. I think it's only 37 pages. I really enjoy this and I think it's a good introduction to what contemporary poetry is about. Lastly, I have a Japanese poetry collection. This is Sumire no Hana no Satozuke 
by Kaori Ikuni. Sadly, this has not been translated to English, but I know I have a few Japanese followers, so I thought I'd mention it really quickly. I haven't read a lot of Japanese poetry, sadly, but I really did enjoy this one. It's really lighthearted, and it makes me feel all warm and fuzzy inside whilst having a hint of melancholy. And I also felt a bit of nostalgia while reading this, which is interesting because she talks about childhood, but she also talks a lot about marriage, and I'm pretty sure I haven't experienced that yet. So those are the collections I would recommend for contemporary poetry beginners. Have you guys read any of these? If so, what did you think of them? Do you have any other collections that you would recommend for someone who wants to get into poetry? Please feel free to comment down below. Okay, I think that's it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Talk to you soon. Bye!